Hey Braves, I'm excited to show you one of my very favorite games that I use every year. It came out a few years ago and thankfully it hasn't gone away. So this is by Hour of Code and very specifically this is the Grinch game. So the website you're going to go to is grinchhourofcode.com slash game.html or you can just google Grinch Hour of Code. <laughs> now this is going to take us uh, using block coding it's going to start off very basic and you can see at the top that it has 20 lessons so it's going to give students just a mini lesson a mini task each time and they will build upon their code over here you can see there's a drone and the drone needs to perform certain tasks okay so let's start with lesson one it's time to save christmas and you've got to capture all the presents to deliver back to whoville we're going to say okay also going to mute this so that you can continue to hear me now then this win run block this is our start block block you will always have it it's the first thing you need and your blocks must be connected see how it won't light up without it it must be connected now you only have a few variables at the moment up down left and right so right now our drone is here and we need to move it one over to the present it says drag a move right block to the workspace and connect it with the win run block Press run to try your program. It worked, awesome. So now it's gonna move us on to lesson two, okay? Well, students might see this and think, all right, we're still gonna move right. That's incorrect though, because we need to add another move right block. Okay, let's try it. Awesome. Okay, now, like I said, this starts off basic, but it does get more advanced as time goes on. So this says drag and drop the move right into the workspace to capture presence. Click the drop down to change the direction of the drone. Okay. So we have move right. Oh, but then we're going to want to move up. And then we'll move right again. Let's try that. Perfect. And again, there are 20 lessons. Okay, so you could jump all the way here. And at this point, you can see that you have a lot more variables. You have loops, sequences, and students can use the arrow keys. I have used this with elementary age students from first grade all the way to fifth grade, and they all love this. And they walk away with increased computational thinking. So I hope this works out for you and you are able to use it this holiday season.